it is time for Python on Hardware. Yay, Blinka! Yeah, all right, first up, Happy Halloween from the Circuit Python book from Japan. This is one of the many characters that's used for the book. And yes, and look, she's you, witchy today. She's wishing you a happy Halloween. We saw this on the author's site. Witchy and wishes. Tweet, and uh, thank you for sending this. We wish you a happy Halloween Yay. as well. Next up, Circuit Python snakes its way to the Sony Spresence. That's right. This chip from Sony and this development board has now added CircuitPython support. So if you have one of these boards or you'd like to try out this cool new chip, um, they use an RTOS to add support, but uh, it's got the basics. It's got a REPL going on. It's got analog inputs, digital IO. I think it's got I2C as well. Um, you can check out um, the PR and build information. Uh, we'll have a guide in the next couple of weeks on how to get started with CircuitPython on this board. Yeah, and if you just go to circuitpython.org slash downloads, you'll be able to see all the boards. We're up to 80-something. It's pretty cool. Next up, CircuitPython snakes its way to the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense. You did this one. Yeah, well, I, well, Dan Halbert did it, and I, I just QA'd and checked it. Uh, this is the new... Nano 33 BLE Sense, which uses the NRF52840. It's in a module uh, from Ublox. Uh, it's neat because it's got all these sensors built in, which I think is super cool. Yeah. Um, and we picked one up of these and we're like, oh, you know, if you put UF2 bootloader on it, you could run CircuitPython, which could be really handy. It's, it's got like a nano form factor, so that could be useful for some people. We don't have any nano form factor uh, circuit playground boards at this time, so this would be the first. And uh, you will need a J-Link in order to put the UF2 bootloader on it. But once you do, um, because you need to add the soft device as well, once you do, you can load CircuitPython quite easily. And uh, we tried it out and you know, used some measurements from the sensors and even tested out the microphone. OK, that's not all. CircuitPython snakes its way to the SparkFun Quick Micro CMD21 development board. This is yet another board that CircuitPython is running on. Um, this makes the, let's see, uh, at least the fifth or sixth board from SparkFun that now runs CircuitPython. That's in addition to some of the Feather boards that they've been making. So we're really excited about this. You can check out the guide, you can pick one up, and this runs CircuitPython. Yes, and it's got uh, a quick connector on the end, which is great because we're having all these quick slash demo QT compatible sensors coming out. Um, and it has a spot in the bottom that you can solder in some SPI flash if you'd like. Cool. In issue 24 Hackspace Magazine, LED matrix modules with CircuitPython. If you want to add 64 pixels of output using CircuitPython, you can go to page 80 and 81 on the latest issue of Hackspace Magazine, and it's a free PDF download. Or, of course, you can buy an issue, or if you subscribe for a year, get a free Circuit Playground Express. Okay, uh, we've been doing an entire month of open source hardware posts, and uh, one of the companies that we covered was Electronic Cats. And one of the reasons we covered it is because not only do they do open source hardware and software, but they adopted CircuitPython. So this is, uh, it's called Meow Meow. I like to call it Meowy Meowy. And if you want to read about uh, this company and all the cool stuff they're up to, check out our series of posts on adafruit.com slash blog. You were doing some power testing with the new circuit uh, playground Blue Fruit Lady Ada. What's yes. going on here? These are some neat little charts that These you These are some charts. Um, yeah. So the next generation of Circuit Playground Blue Fruit, uh, we have the alpha version out now, and like the next version is kind of like the release candidate. Um, we added a transistor effect to turn off power to the NeoPixels and some of the sensors. Um, it keeps the accelerometer on, because a lot of times if you're doing low power, you still want to have accelerometer active. Um, and uh, there's still a very small power LED, which I, I'm not willing to remove, but it uses very little power. It's a couple of microamps, like okay. 100 microamps. Uh -huh. And so uh, what we did is we, we checked to verify that when we turn the transistor off, um, it's on by default. When we turn it off, um, you know, all the NeoPixels turn off, and then the power is very low. So I think we got down to, uh, if you go back to the previous page, it can show. Uh, yeah, it was 0.3 milliamps, so 300. Okay. That's pretty good. 300 microamps, um, which is pretty good, and uh, we might try to improve that a little bit. But given that there's an LED that's on all the time, I don't know if we can get much lower than that. But it does mean that we'll be able to do some projects such as very, you know, we can do machine learning, we can do very low power gesture recognition, or maybe voice sensing, and then in between we go to sleep, 
so that your battery will last a long time. So this is kind of neat because it's a developer platform for learning, but it can also do low power. Okay. This is one of my favorite tweets. Uh, Arturo, who does the Serpente, uh, has a customer. He makes a board that happens to run CircuitPython. And this person said exactly what we've been going for. Sometimes your community says it even better than you can. So he's like, hey, hashtag uh, CircuitPython Live. And I'm like, I wonder what he's, I wonder that's what Senate Records do. Uh, James uh, said, it's essentially what I want from Arduino. So this person was able to rapidly prototype in a matter of minutes um, something they wanted to do. And this is why we made this, because you're spending more time making your things and you're not downloading IDEs, you're not compiling stuff. Um, so that's really cool. So thank you for that. I guess we might do a hashtag CircuitPython life. We'll see. Um, also, in France, the national programming language is Python. And there is an article on one of the school sites. Um, we translated it because it's in French. And it's called CircuitPython in High School, an alternative to Arduino. And uh, the translation is, this article presents a set of hardware and software offerings as an alternative to using Arduino in high school. Its strengths are native Python programming, total computer independence, and true analog output for sound generation. Check that out. Next up, um, MicroPython. That was another um, article series that we did for Open Hardware Month. Um, in addition to the early days of MicroPython video that Damien did, uh, we go over some of the things like Here's the first bit of open source hardware that uh, MicroPython did. Here's their uh, Pi board. So uh, yet another um, big, I guess, milestone or just like notch in the in the open source belt. This was one of the um, people and one of the organizations and one of the efforts that got us all here, especially recently with Python on hardware. Check that out. Um, happy birthday, MQTT. I didn't, did you know that it was uh, MQTT's birthday? No, I did not. How was it? Uh, 20 years. Wow. Yeah. So uh, 20 years ago, the first version of MQTT was published. Um, we like it. And it's Wait, one it? of those um, cool protocols that you can use for publish and subscribe. And it's you know, very low low bandwidth, and it just, it just works. OK. Making the rounds a lot. This is the Open Book Project. Um, my headline was Open Book project takes flight because it's a feather-based open book project and it's an open source version of Kindle basically. So that's kind of cool. I love, um, I love the silk screen. It's got everything going on. Yeah. It's like that soap that people talk about. There's a soap that has like all the ingredients yeah, and Dr. everything Bonner in the back. Soap. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. So um, also uh, congratulations to our friend Jerry and the entire team there for Tilt 5. They hit their goal and as they were about to hit their Kickstarter goal for their um, Kickstarter, which is these like cool AR glasses. We, um, we, we had a countdown that made it really easy to show the power of the Pi Portal. And with the Pi Portal, you can do a project like this in like five minutes. So they did a contest, and if someone just tweeted a photo of a Pi Portal that they had with a uh, data feed, yeah. and, and you, can use, you, can do, you can do an API thing, or you can Kickstarter use Dashbot. Kickstarter API, yeah. Yeah, um, but they got t-shirts. So I love this people, font. Yeah, isn't that cool? Classic. All right, next up. Um, lots of Halloween stuff. Of course, it's our Halloween show. These are eyes. Baby eyes. Yeah, and that's, oh, that's uh, funny. Monster Mask. Here is some cool music. This is from Thea, and this is a new uh, Circuit Python library. So you can see and hear some of that. Bleepy bloop. Yeah. Sean Heimel made a uh, pumpkin. And the end of this project is now is now out, and you'll be able to check it out. But it's a it's a p pumpkin that uh, farts and makes uh, sound, and it's all for the hack pumpkin contest. And then this is a mandrake. This uh, this is a cool little motion activated mandrake. When you pull it out of the ground, it just screams. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> using our guides and tutorials, uh, this is using the prop wing. And you can see a couple cool lightsaber projects. Also, uh, this is an eyeball that fits perfectly. Fits right in there for Halloween. Here is a helmet that uses NeoPixels. Ooh, that's nice. Here is a wind-up doll, and it makes noises when you wind it up. And a couple events that are going on. Uh, TensorFlow World is right now, and some of our hardware is there. You'll see some of the electronics and some of the, the posts about it on our site soon. And then Supercon's coming up November 15th to 17th. You will see a lot of Adafruit hardware 
Python powered in particular there as well. Okay, and that's the Python on Python. So much going on. A lot going on.